Hello, thanks for having me and thanks to everyone joining today. While I miss seeing friends in person, the shift of virtual events has had a huge impact on making conferences like ATO more accessible to folks all over the world. And that's actually pretty relevant about what I'm here to talk to you about today. So let's dive in. The amount of software that we, the human race, will rely on in the coming decades will grow exponentially. Our cars will continue to get smarter, software will continue to help us diagnose, treat, and even prevent illnesses. It will help us improve the health of our planet as we develop solutions to combat climate change, food shortages, and resource constraints. And behind all of that is the open source community, a community that, of course, many of you watching today are a critical part of. In order to support this growth, to maintain the software that we already have and create the software of the future, we need the open source community to grow too. We need more developers, more maintainers, and more contributors to meet the ever increasing demands for software. It's basically more of, all, more of it all, I guess. And what's amazing is how quickly we're already seeing this happen. So how do we, the existing open source community, support this growth? How do we pave a path for new developers and ensure the innovation and quality of this community continues to grow along with its size? How do we give some of the tireless maintainers out there a much deserved break? To support the continued growth and health of open source, we need to create an open source culture where anyone can be a contributor and grow to be a maintainer. We need to continue to unleash the network effects of every commit, and perhaps most significantly, we need to enable local and global commercial opportunity through open source. First, let's talk about contributors and the importance of open source development as a viable career path. Today, there are over 50 million developers on GitHub. In five years, we expect that number to double. That's 100 million developers who are going to be critical to the acceleration of human progress in the coming decades. They're going to come from all over the world, but especially from developing nations where learning to code and contributing to open source is a path to economic growth and prosperity. This is a map of where in the world contributions on GitHub are happening today. Five years ago, the majority of open source contributions were being made in the Western world. Over time, we start to see more and more regions growing in terms of contributors. And now you can see that the epicenter of open source contribution is actually moving away from the Western world. As we move into the future, we see places like India, China, Africa, and Latin America really start to light up. Just check out the map. There is an acceleration happening in open source contributions from outside the Western world, and this is going to intensify over the next five to 10 years. I'm gonna share a stat that still boggles my mind. My son is seven, and in his lifetime, 80% of the world population will reside in Asia and Africa. The developing world is really going to drive a lot of the innovation and progress we're going to see in the next few decades. And the world is gonna be richer, more dynamic, and more inclusive because of this interconnected open source community that we're all continuing to build together. Let's zoom into the impact that open source can have on someone's life. This is Sonia John, a blockchain developer, writer, and speaker in Kenya who recently participated in the GitHub README project. She was 25 when hyperinflation hit South Sudan and she lost her job and 90% of her savings. She felt like she'd lost everything and was starting to get desperate. In her own words, she moved to Kenya, bought a cheap laptop and installed Ubuntu, because that's what she had heard programmers do, and taught herself how to code. She didn't have a degree in computer science or an internship with a software company. She had a laptop and she had determination. The first time someone offered to pay her for a project, she just didn't believe it. But she built a messenger bot, earned her first paycheck as a developer, and discovered the enormous opportunity that had opened up to her. Sonia's story is so inspiring. There are brilliant, gifted people all over the world right now who haven't unlocked their potential to contribute to open source. As we look ahead to the dramatic rise in software development that is coming in the next five years and beyond, we need to seek out these folks and create a path to open source contribution and in turn, financial opportunity. 
We need to make it possible for talented developers to have a thriving, successful career in open source, to get paid for their work, to grow their careers, and contribute their talent to a space where it has the potential to have enormous impact. I'll share some thoughts on some specific ways that you can help with this a bit later. We've seen what kind of opportunity open source can bring to one person. Let's now flip that and look at this from the other perspective. Let's look at the network effect of a single commit to an open source project. For this example, we picked a commit to TensorFlow in June of 2020. This is a real contribution contributed by a single developer. That commit helps improve TensorFlow, which we know is being used widely around the globe. In the four months that have passed since it was made, more than 4,500 developers from over 100 countries have worked directly on the TensorFlow project. But this is only the tip of the iceberg. Let's now look at all of the projects that have leveraged and directly depend on this version of TensorFlow. That single commit is now included in about 23,500 projects on GitHub, anchored in 137 countries around the world. And so far, it has been included in the work of more than 50,000 developers from 151 countries. The reach of a single commit is incredible. This is the compounding effect of a single contribution. Think about the exponential impact a single developer can have in their career. Multiply that by 100 million and just imagine what this community can do. It honestly gives me goosebumps to think about the magnitude of what can be achieved. I love this example of just what commit can lead to. This is Evan Yu, another maintainer who participated in the GitHub README project. He started an open source project called Vue with the intention of building a simple JavaScript library that he could reference to improve his own efficiency. He never intended to be a full-time open source maintainer, but you can get where this is going. That's exactly what he does today. When he open sourced the project, people started using it. The community adapted his idea, built on it, and ultimately helped it evolve into a thriving global community of maintainers, contributors, and users. One thing I love about Vue is that Evan's vision for the project is to give any user a low barrier of entry, a good foundation, and room to grow. He said that the ideal user is someone who just got into web development, and they are intentionally designing a way for folks to start building without having an understanding of how front-end development actually works. It's this mindset that can get, have a huge impact on lowering the barrier of entry for new developers to open source. Vue began with the foundation of a single contributor and has evolved to become an integral part of developer workflows. And best of all, it's now fully funded by the community it serves. I told you about Sonia John earlier, and she said something that I think is so insightful. She said, when I'm building solutions and decide to keep them closed, I recognize that this removes an opportunity for somebody else. So most of my work is open source. The potential of the community is absolutely massive and every project, every commit is a building block that the next 50 million developers will be able to learn from and build on. So we all need to focus on getting more people to that first commit because of course, that's where it all starts. So we've talked about the impact that open source can have on Sonia and other people's lives. And we've talked about the value of a commit. So let's talk a little bit about money. The growth of open source community has real economic impact. According to the Corn Ferry Institute, demand for skilled workers will outstrip supply in the next 10 years, resulting in a global talent shortage of more than 85.2 million people. If left unchecked, the financial impact of this talent shortage could reach more than 8.4 trillion in unrealized annual revenue by 2030. This is equivalent to the combined GDPs of Germany and Japan. Obviously, these numbers are for a broader group than just developers. This is all skilled workers. But an increasing number of these jobs will require technical fluency, if not straight coding skills. Open source will play a key role in closing this gap, and in doing so has the power to help accelerate emerging economies. Let's take a look at one incredibly inspiring program related to this. Laboratoria is a social entrepreneurship program in Latin America that trains women who have been unable to start careers in web development or UX design. The organization then connects these women with companies and helps them launch a career in tech. 
Since its inception, Laboratoria has trained over 1,600 women, and 78% of them have started technology careers in 17 industries. That kind of success can have a huge impact on a local economy. Here's the story of one woman whose life was changed thanks to Laboratoria. Shireni Azcaraga is from Puebla, Mexico. She had to leave a career in music that she loved. She started walking and training neighbors' dogs to make a living in order to support her family. She applied and was accepted to the Laboratoria training program, where she trained as a UX designer. She's now a web developer who draws on her experience in the arts and in dog training to guide users through a well-orchestrated application experience for the program. I share this story because there are several things that I talked about today that form the bigger picture of the opportunity ahead. We need the next 50 million developers to continue to carry the open source community forward and to create the software we'll all depend on in the future. There is so much untapped talent all over the world and so many people are seeking opportunities to improve their lives through professional achievement, financially, or often both. That talent has the potential to have lasting positive impact, not only on the lives of individuals, but on innovation and economic growth, both locally and more broadly. But to get there, we must continue to remove barriers. In Major League Hacking's most recent Hacker Census, which is a survey of almost 100,000 collegiate hackathon participants, nearly 62% of respondents said that they had not contributed to open source yet. Among them, close to 92% believe that contributing to open source in the future will be important for their career. The main thing holding them back is that they feel like they don't know how to get started or that they aren't skilled enough. Organizations like Laboratoria and The View Project are doing amazing work bringing more people into tech and open source and lowering the barriers to getting started. There are so many ways that we can all get involved in paving the way for new developers to join the open source community. I picked a few great examples, but this is far from an exhaustive list. Google Summer of Code, which I'm sure virtually all of you have heard of by now, is a program focused on bringing more student developers from around the world to open source. Outreachy organizes three-month paid internships with free and open source software projects for people who are typically underrepresented in those projects. Open Collective gives open source projects a transparent way to collect funding and manage their finances. Community Bridge brings together project maintainers, contributors, and users to fund open source projects, improve code security, and boost the size and diversity of open source communities. Of course, at GitHub, we have GitHub Sponsors, which enables companies and individuals to sponsor projects or specific developers, making open source careers possible for contributors. I'd encourage everyone to consider sponsoring an individual or a team that's doing work that's important to you. The Major League Hacking Fellowship provides educational curriculum and practical experience that new developers can put on their resumes right away. Companies can sponsor fellows to work on specific projects within their organization or open source projects in general to help more people enter into careers as developers. These projects and platforms are always seeking supporters, financial sponsors, and mentors to fuel their growth. So I encourage you to get involved in one or more if you're not already, whether that's shining a light on the incredible work that they do, supporting them financially, or acting as a mentor for folks going through their programs. In addition, think about the global nature of the developer community. Build your projects and your communities with the needs of developers around the world in mind. Do you need to change anything for your software to be useful for folks in emerging economies and mobile first markets? What about places without fast internet? What about your community? Is it welcoming to new developers, those from different backgrounds and parts of the world? And of course, how do you think about accessibility to be available and useful for as many folks as possible? I know there's lots of food for thought here and a ton of great talks out there by others on details around building our projects and communities to be more inclusive and accessible. So I encourage you to take a look at those. 
What started with a small group of academics and researchers back in the 50s and 60s and led to the free software movement in the 80s and the launch of the open source movement in the 90s is now a community of 50 million people whose efforts and contributions have helped define the world as we know it today. Because of you, the pace of new software is blazingly fast with components for almost anything readily available. Because of you, there is an abundance of exceptionally high quality software freely available for everyone to use and to build on. And because of you, people around the world can learn from the vast array of knowledge and best practices shared openly, helping pave the way for new contributors to open source. It took decades to grow the community to this size. With your help in just the next few years, we'll pave the way for the next 50 million developers so that open source can continue to be a key source of innovation, global collaboration, and an engine of human progress. Here's to being 100 million strong. Thanks for all you do, and thanks for being here today.